Good evening, fellow train enthusiasts. Oh, let's press. Unpause. There we go. So tonight we're going to talk about um, some more about track marks and um, driver commands and a few little uh, other things here that um, you might be interested in. So uh, here's our driver, our AI driver. If you remember. He has, there are three buttons, there's a button over here, this yellow one. When you start, it defaults to the DCC, which is your little transformer with a knob on it. Click that little yellow button twice, and you come up with your um, chevrons along here. If you're not sure, check out my YouTube video on simulator AI commands. And that explains how to get into it, what you need to set up. Um, etc. because you need to activate these in um, somewhere else. Now another comment now on naming your markers, your track markers. Um, numbers are great but I would never remember them so for example I've called this one here, the first one after the train station is the Bergsville passenger line. Right, so that's the first one after my station and also the um, track markers uh, you can see you can rotate them so in my little uh, short AI video, the first one wasn't important because I only used one track marker or two, two track markers, so I fluked it probably. Um, you'll notice they are a little cone shape. Well, that's like an arrow. So if you can imagine, um, it's like an open cone. You, you can't go into the open end of it, so you've got to turn it around. So the pointy end is pointing at you as you're travelling towards it. So it's like a diode. Right now, another thing too, we don't. There's no commands for switching junctions for these guys. So you'll notice as he goes around that um, he actually switches the junctions for us. So he's been to his little villa, and picked up the passengers there, and he's going to eventually deliver them to that station there. It's a bit of a round around route. There's still people still there. See, he switched. You probably didn't notice it, but. Uh, been switched. Well, was that already that direction from last time? No, no, he would have switched it over. This is my mountains in the background where the coal mine is. And um, this is a mountain that's squarish up there. Fix them. And of course, there's a lot of work to do. I've got to fix that track height there on the inside the track. You can see it's a bit low, and where I'm traveling now. That truck's low in the ground. There's my lumber yard. I think we're going past the great pyramids here on the left and Bergsville South Passenger Line. So that's on the south end of the map. Makes it a bit easier to remember when you're issuing him commands, like which number is which. There's enough line there. You know that's the right track marker. You know it's a track marker. So you click on the track marker. Now, I still haven't figured out the difference between um, drive to and navigate via, or drive via. Drive via and navigate via. Mm. If someone knows about that, Explains to me. That would be handy. So, going to my power station over there. So, that's the other part of the industry that I'm doing for the coal mine. Just got that sorted. Uh, see now he's going the, uh, to the, through the Burrsford North passenger line now. Someone's got some sea containers there. Fell off a boat. Boat it in land. And you can see a track marker on the left there is my. Uh, this is track mark fast track two. So that's the train on there. Does a hundred and a four hundred and fourteen kilometers an hour. Pretty spicky. Now we're pulling into uh, Stratford Station. So there's a, uh, there's a track marker there. Um, you can see the commands down the bottom. There's my mouse. I could give it a demo. See the track marks now. He's the command is stop. We have to use the little chevrons there. Unload and load, you people better hurry up because we're running away now. And he's supposed to blow his horn, so I've still got to muck around here because funnily enough he's not blowing his horn until he's over here somewhere. Maybe he knows. Um, you can, if we get around here quickly, you can see the junction is against him at the moment. Uh, and you, you can notice that also by the red mark here. There was a way that we could extend this out on round before. 
can't remember now. There we go. I'm wheeling the mouse forward, and see it's extending the scale here. It's red, it's saying that the junction is blocked. Here's the junction here. He's going to switch that because he's an AI driver. And if he, you know, they're supposed to be intelligent. And if he's not intelligent, I'd sack him and hire another AI driver. Hey, okay, there he goes. Switches it. Ooh, he's slowing down. So I suppose the next thing we have to look at is putting some signal lights in. Um, I had a quick look at triggers earlier this evening. Um, so I wanted to get something to stop at a spur line. I go over a trigger and stop at the end of a spur line, but it seems like the triggers are all um, designed to make other trains wait for you to finish doing something. Maybe at that junction there, wait for him to clear that junction. And um, therefore, um, there's the uh, Bergsville East passenger line, which is on the east side of my track. So much easier. Yeah, we, were on, we were on this uh, track here earlier, now we're on the outside. It's like a, an inside figure eight, folded over on itself. So, uh, the next thing, um, another thing I have to do is, uh, there's the lumber here, I've got to give him a place to deliver his lumber. So I'm still working on discrepancies to, to figure out how that works for us. Um, and then once he can, once we put a lumber yard, a furniture store in, I suppose, then we can worry about signals and getting this guy to stop while he goes through. There's my power station over there, so my coal mine will be bringing the train down to here to uh, offload there. The city's going to be on the other side of that mountain over there, that hill there. See any signal is against him, I'm not going to touch it, move it over here. There we go, heading back down to Bergsville. So this is Strathfield Station over here, I think. Something like that. And the other one's Bergsville. How's that? Pretty neat, eh? Now, a lot of work, you can see, he's still got um, a lot of landscaping to do here, it's pretty boring at the moment, pretty flat. Um, got a farm to build, a couple of more villas, you know, this is just a tiny little villa. Got a 7-Eleven. I'll give him a tuck, tucky fried chicken, everyone loves KFC. And there we are, back to the start again. So, um, if you follow along, you can, you'll see the commands as he travels around. Um, I've still got a bit of work to do. Um, horns are not standing in the right place and, and so forth so thanks for watching you got any questions um, I'll see what I can do if you want to see more of something that I've already talked about let me know don't forget to hit that like button hit subscribe and um, if you want me to be your friend then subscribe to my channel don't just send me a blank message I know what you're up to I'm trying to increase your hit rate so, happy driving!